to it. Pencils down. Now. Now. Pen now. Like, huh? Now. Huh? Uh, down, down, right there. Right See, there. right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Down, right there. It is. We've begun. Uh, we've. That's it. Uh, and uh, guess what, Eddie? We can yeah. stop, and we've officially done Ramble three forty nine. We have if, crossed the threshold of three forty nine. It's a ram. Wait, this is a ramble. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. This is a fucking. If this, it's if done. we just said, you know what? Hey, man, I want. I got some shit I want to do tonight. I'm done. Okay. 349 in the books. We ramble. 349 exists. It's in the books. There in it the is. Books. There on it our is. way to 350. There it is. On our way. The only thing, the only time it doesn't count is if we stop recording in the middle of saying pencils down. Right. That's before it. The, before you get to down. Before it pencils, that's not a ramble. Right. Not a ramble. Pencils down. Not a ramble. Not a ramble. Pencils down. Ramble. We ramble. We ramble. <laughs> Oh man, hey, three forty nine, baby. Three forty nine. We're almost at three fifty. That's a milestone. We're almost right now. I'm going to say something very controversial. Okay. Because as you can tell, there's only two of us today. Right. Yeah. And Cody. Cody's in some intense negotiations with the was, ceiling. I don't think yeah. McCarthy's done. That's from That's what I've heard. Vote of no <laughs> confidence. I think coming. And is Cody behind it? That's probably. That's if you're the Democrats. Yeah. Let me do this before I get to my controversial take. Okay. My controversy. If you're the Democrats. Yeah. Do you vote for McCarthy just to troll <laughs> the hard right? Do you're like that? Nah, we'll keep him. <laughs> yeah, I like him. I like that guy. I like this guy because I think with enough moderate votes on the Republican side, and then if all the Democrats vote for him, yeah. he's in. Yeah. He keeps the job. Would you do that just to troll? If you would, or do I think, you say, I think you would. I think you would. Well, I don't know. But then, what's more humiliating? Making them vote twenty-five more times. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know. I know. That's maybe after like day three of them constantly voting, then they just all toss in McCarthy. Like, you know what? Here, how about this? Oh man. So can i get to this eddie first off let, let's get down let's get let's get down to to the brass tacks as they would say as the they would say uh you can email us ramble at the ramble yeah. Yeah. we have a yeah, twitter yeah, yeah. page at sure podcast ramble sure number do. one we have an instagram page just at Absolutely. podcast ramble we right. have a youtube page we which do. is what turned ramble radio which gave you the argument to say ramble video right. is right. our the ramble tube we have merch, a tea public store. Here's where now you know, and we're not even at, we're not even close to the controversy yet. Okay. But you know, I don't like to say that certain phrase fornicate the ramblers. Right. You know, I don't. I don't. I uttered it one time, and I I lost control. I was right. I was right. blinded by rage. Right. Um, right. And I've regretted it ever since. Yes. But it's so. But I don't say those things. I hope you know no, that. You don't. But these fucking people. Oh, these fucking people, man. We are deadlocked at 138 five these star. These goddamn ratings. motherfuckers. Deadlocked at 138 five star ratings on iTunes. These, uh, Jojo the Fist. the Ramblers. Fornicate the Ramblers. <laughs> Jojo the Fist is still your king of the hill right there. And he called some motherfuckers out, too. He, he called. He said, "Hey, come get me. I'm on top now." And uh, he's still let's there. just say Jojo the Fist's grip is getting tighter, tighter and tighter around is, that strap. Is, are we? Do we? Are we on any kind of Dimaggio alert now? Are we? Uh, are we on I think we're, any I think we're, kind of? I think we're like another two weeks away. And two then, weeks away, and then, and then I think we start looking. Then he's start. entering Ken Jennings territory. Yeah, we're he's looking. going into Ken Jennings. We're talking CM Punk's title reign of 2012. We're talking. Okay, can I ask you this? What's more impressive? And again, I'm not even close to the controversy. Yeah. What's more impressive? Yeah. What? Joe DiMaggio's hit streak. Uh huh. Or Ken Jennings' run on Jeopardy. Ooh. 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 Now, do you know who the second lo closest is to getting Ken Jennings win streak? I street? don't. That's a good question. I have no idea. Like, Let has it been sniffed a couple do, times? Because DiMaggio hasn't 
DiMaggio has a no big one's can't even come close. So right. I guess if you now, googled second. I'm just gonna go Jeopardy win streaks. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's leaderboard of God Almighty, Ken Jennings, seventy four games. Okay. What's wow. Number, what's number two? Wow. Uh, it's and also he's the all time winner with uh-huh. two point five million. James Holhauser did not nearly have the streak Jennings had, but right. he's second place with two point four million because he just he bet big every time. Does that make sense? He's got bigger balls than Ken Jennings. Bigger ball, <laughs> way bigger ball. He's got big. He's got a bigger nut sack. <laughs> bigger sack. So, but Ken Jennings has highest winnings in seasonal play. All time winnings, including tournaments, is your is our guy Brad Rutter. Yeah, with four big, point, big, big, br- big, Brad, big Brad. balls, Brad, big balls, Brad, the runs with four point nine. Now, uh-huh. next to Ken, second place with Ken Jennings. Okay, Amy Schneider. Schneider, forty, a thirty-four game. Okay, difference. Now, let me ask you to 40. Google one Let's, more time. Let's... Google hit streaks in Major League Baseball. We got DiMaggio. What sixty? What? How many was it? I lost you. I lost you. Hey, 54? 54 with Joe, I think, with Joseph, with Joseph Madge. Um, 56. 56. 56. With Vaj Madge. With Vaj Madge. Okay, so first, Jennings has him almost by 20. Yeah. And the next closest is Willie Keeler. With 45 in 1896. So he had 45 in 1896. So he was the leader until Joe the DiMaggio until beat Joe him. Joe came in 1941 with 56. But that's now, in 1846, you had the same dude pitching all of nine innings. All nine innings. There was no until backup. His, until his arm fell off. Yeah. Until <laughs> so everybody was getting hits in the eighth and ninth yes. innings. Yeah. Number three, your boy, our boy, our guy, Peter mm. Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose, Rose at 44. Okay. In 1978. That's, that's a legit 44. That's a legit 44. So, I mean, ooh, I. And what was the match? Was 56? 56. I, I think I go Jennings. I don't know. But what's, okay, you have to look. The yep. hard, they say the hardest thing to do in sports is hit a baseball. Hit a baseball. In all of sports. Okay. In is the hardest sport, thing in all of game shows to answer a Jeopardy question? Has to be. Has to be. Has I, to be. I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. No whammies? I think that might be a little harder. No whammies. Because there's some luck involved there. There's some luck involved. It's not just on your brain. You might no get a whammies. whammy. You might get a whammy. Press. So you're saying press your luck might be the hardest thing to achieve in... My, I I just show. I don't think Ken Jennings gets goes seventy one games if there's whammies and press your luck if there's whammies in Jeopardy, I'm just saying because your luck runs out at some point. Your luck, the whammy always gets you. The whammy will eventually. Uh, have you ever seen an episode of Press Your Luck where there was this, never a whammy? Doesn't I happen. Haven't. Doesn't happen. I have that one guy who memorized the pattern. Right, and then they and now he's in jail. <laughs> he's in prison. But Ken Jennings could have been that. Right. Mentally acute enough to memorize the maybe, pattern. Maybe. But that, that's Ooh. cheating. So let's get to my controversy. Yeah. Okay. So Cody went to see uh, him and I's beloved Dallas Stars play game six okay. live in person. Yeah. And then they lost six to nothing. Okay. Is Cody bad luck? It seems to be. I don't want to. Because that's an ass kicking? It's an ass whooping. In, in an elimination game. And you also yeah. have a chance to send it to game seven and really, really get make things interesting. Has he and, gone to any other games this year? Well, I don't know. See, I don't know if he's gone to any this year. I'm sure he has. And I don't know what their record is. I just don't know. If, That's a pretty big fail to show up in a, in, a, in a game like that. In a playoff game, and then they lose six. Now, if... If let's say he sees Victor Wembanyama's first game as a spur, right, and that kid blows out his ACL, then get, I don't think he can go to any more games. Is, is he done? <laughs> then I then I buy him decent tickets for the Cowboys. Right? <laughs> did we get 
Is is that the end of day baseball, Cody? Is that it for day baseball, Cody? Maybe maybe he's not scoring the games. Maybe that's the problem. That's fair. Enough. Maybe he goes and takes the score pad to the hockey game. It's a different story. It's a diff. Dallas Stars are in Game Seven. I don't know how you score a hockey game from the stands, but he could. But he could. He could. If anyone could, it's him. So maybe it's... I just don't know. I just I hate to say that about him, but I'm eh. just gonna put that out. The, there. the evidence is there. It That's is all there. I have to say. The and ten, ten minutes. What an intro. Yeah. Ten minutes. Now talking see, about baseball, Jeopardy, oh, Jeopardy, Cody, being politics, the, the Cody curse, the Cody Viafana curse. Come on, this podcast I mean, has it all. Everything you need. And if you know the words, sing along at home. Nothing so loud. We're going nineties, Eddie. Early. Oh. It's hearing when we lie. Mm. The truth is not kind. And you said, neither am I. And the air outside so soft is saying everything. Everybody. Everything. Come on. All All I I want want is to feel feel this way. way. To be this close. To feel the same. All I I want is to feel this way. The evening speaks. I feel it say. There we go. Bam. 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 Do we tell the Ramblers, even though we, we want them to fornicate themselves? Right. Do we let them know that we have midnight tickets to Spider-Man across we the should. Spider-Verse? We should. We're going to go. We'll be there. Thursday we, night, we're going to get there. Thursday night. We'll be there. And then guess what? You know what else we tell them? What? In case that doesn't work, we have them for the very next time. We have backup tickets. And in case we love it. We got. We go twice. We go twice. That's how uh, we do no it here. Ain't no stopping us now. So, Ain't no stopping us now. Oh, How do you feel now about not leaving now? a five-star there rating it is. and a positive text That's review. what you're saying no to. Mm-hmm. So... Oh, time out. I might have to. Uh, oh, you got a board you, coming on? I might have to board. So do you mind hanging tight nope. here for Hang, a little bit? And we'll just, we'll just clip this out, and clip they'll never like know never you're happened. shitting yourself. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm going to actually start the edit after that. Right. So there right we now. go. I'll right now fine. you're going to start it. Now. We're back. Here we go. So back. Oh, there we go. Uh, there it is. Um, How was that? Whew. Refreshing. Good one? Good. Refreshing. Good. Good to might hear. Might happen again. Hey, there might even be another. Who knows? Uh, Through the but, magic of editing, they'll never know. They'll never know. They'll never know. Um, it's t- it's. Ha- I mean, I guess we just go right into the halftime. Yeah, I, we're on borrowed you know, time. So we're on we borrowed well. time. I mean, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, animated, Disney animated movie. Gary Priest, uh, Jeeps. 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 Dear, dear, dear Eddie, Jerry, and a pivotal member of the podcast, Cody. Wow. Whoa. Wow. That, that didn't seem uh, sincere. Wow. Shots. That seemed... Uh... Whew. Insincere. Shade thrown? A little bit. Well, I was an arse coming back after so long and taking a cheap shot at Cody. Yeah, that I'm, said, if yeah. he isn't here, then what the fuck is up with that guy? Wow. Uh, wow. 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 Jeeps. Jeeps bringing it down. Hall of Fame hat, the Walt Disney animated movie. Hall of Fame be... hat for coming back the hardest. Might the, be right? Might go My God. Jeeps. No, Jesus. Jeeps with... No, shit. Wow. He says, has to be Dumbo. One of my earliest memories is watching this movie at the Saturday morning cinema at the local church hall. A classic as the Colin Farrell version. Maybe want to cut all my fingers off. Wow. <laughs> Joshua. Joshua Snyder. Snipes. 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 Hall hat, the Lion King. The peak of Disney animation, Renaissance, beautifully animated, amazing soundtrack, Shakespearean story with a perfect voice cast. Great film. Bienvenue. Great film. Um, Bien's? News? Bien's? News? 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 The news. 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 Well, I had to go with the Disney movie I've seen the most in my life, and that's two votes now for The Lion King. Whoa. Michael Miller, hope all is well. Yes, Mills? Mike. Mills? Mills? Mike. Mills? 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 Hall of Fame Disney animated movie. I'm tempted to say Little Mermaid, but I have to go with Beauty and the Beast. Okay. The songs are better. The villain was better. As much as I like, a hot, curious redhead, a smart, kind brunette is always better. There we okay. go. Right. Damien Botriel. Bots? Bots. What's up, Ramblers? It's Damien Botriel here for some rambling. Sure. My Hall of Fame Disney animated film is Aladdin. It's the first movie I remember going to see in the cinema as a child, and it introduced me to the legendary Robin Williams. Ah. Anthony was born to run, now too cool for school, Flores. Flores. 
Jerry, Eddie, maybe Cody, mi gente. I only watch anime. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, fellas, after last week, I considered the ultimate too school for move, uh, too cool for school move. I was going to send a blank email. But Disney animated movies are like catnip to me. This one, this hat was one of the hardest. But I'm going to go with Aladdin. As a kid, I wanted to be him, and I wanted Robin Williams to be my best friend. Also, right. had the biggest childhood crush on Jasmine. Andre will mention for The Lion King and Little Mermaid. Owen Edmonds. Munt. 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 Jerry, Eddie, maybe Cody. Good day to you and all the Ramblers out there. What hat? Not being a particularly big Disney fan, I can only go with the one animated movie that I actually like. The 1967 classic, The Jungle Book. Baloo the ah. Bear is my hero. Eddie, I went with the first one. Is that bad? Is that cheating? Is that mailing it in? The but first I went with one. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I mean, it's hard to argue. That was I was I was leaning Snow White myself. Yeah, I was leaving. I was going. I was. There's three in my head that I was battling with. There was Snow White. Yeah. Fan- Fantasia. Oh. And the one that I ultimately gave the hat to, which was also Jungle Book. Jungle Book's a great one. Just because I think it's the, to me, it's the, I mean, I, I guess I'm a little bit older than most of Ramblers. Like, Aladdin and all those movies came out when I was sort of like, right, kind of get, I wasn't into Disney animation at the time. Of course, I wasn't, of course. I was, when I was a kid, like, Jungle Book was the shit. Bare Necessities and, is a great... And the album is just one of the all-time great soundtracks. I Want to Be Like You is incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's... So I went, I went with Jungle Book. Not Though that. you can make an argument for any of the ones that were listed. Any of sure. them. Yep. Um, Ramble 350, out of respect, what Tina Turner song mm. goes on the hat? Mm. What song by mm. Tina Turner? And mm. let's just say it will open, close, encore. Does Tina Anthony, Turner, does, top Does Anthony five, Flores go with... Uh, uh, Ike Turner's. Oh man, is that top what he's five? gonna do? Is that, is that what, what he's gonna do? Just top Flores five does? Ike pre Tina. Is that what he's gonna do to us? <laughs> top is what you, oh, uh, Tina Turner Hall of Fame hat. Tina Turner song. Tina Turner open close and encore. Top okay. five Tina Turner songs. Of course. Listener, uh, open close encore time. Gary Priest Jeeps. Jeeps. You open with I got no strings. Sure. You close with the phony King of England. Right. Encore with bare necessities. There we go. That's a great one. Okay. Snyder, Snides, you Snides. open with Circle of Life. You close with I Want to Be Like You, Encore, Aladdin, Friend Like Me. Honorable mention with the crowning of King Charles III, how can he not give some love to the phony King of England from Robin Hood? Very good point. True. Very good point. Um, we got a Bienvenue. Bienz. Bienz. News. Bienz. 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 You open with Under the Sea. You close with Why Should I Worry from Oliver and Company, a Billy Joel classic. You encore with Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride from Lilo and Stitch because that song oh. puts me in a good fucking mood every time I hear it. And I'd be happy leaving that show if that was the encore. All right. There you go. Michael Miller. Mills. Mills. Be Our Guest is your opener from Beauty and the Beast. Hakuna Matata. And then you encore with When You Wish Upon a Star. There Good stuff. Go. Damien Botriel, uh, open, close, encore, Disney animated songs. Honorable mention to that one song in The Hunchback of Notre Dame where the villain sings about wanting to fuck Esmeralda. You hope when, with Mulan's I'll Make a Man Out of You. You close with A Whole New World from Aladdin. You encore with Circle of Life from The Lion King. Ooh. And then here we go, Mr. Too Cool for School, Anthony Flores. <laughs> For open, close, encore. Okay, I'm not really a Disney song guy. Kidding, kidding, he says. <laughs> I'll open with Be Prepared, then encore with Poor Unfortunate Souls, and then when everyone's feeling 100% defeated, Jeannie comes in, flips the mood around with Never Had a Friend Like Me for the encore. It's a good show. Owen Edmonds, you open, close, encore. What else could it be but Toccata and Fugue in D Minor by Bach from Fantasia? You close in with a whole new world, not my favorite, but you have to give props and they're due. And then you encore with bare necessities. Everyone leaves happy humming at this amazing earworm. There we go, man. Um, is Zip is- Doodah eligible for this? <laughs> I guess, but I'm not putting it on there. Okay. Okay, just wondering. <laughs> uh, I don't care. The movie's one thing, but that's a banger. It's a great song. Zip it's a banger. Do da zippity day, my oh my, what a wonderful! I I've never seen Song of the South, and I know that song. Yeah, How do I have not? seen Song of the South, and I know that song. You know that song. Um, I open, I open with be our guest, 
That's great way to open a concert. Sure. And then I close it. I go. I'm with. I'm with. Uh, too cool for school. And I forgot who else had this too. I, I close with poor unfortunate souls. Okay. That's what I do. And nice. then my encore when you wish. What else could it be? But when you wish upon a star. Eddie, what's your open? Close? I open with when you wish upon a star. There it is. It's got to be on there. I it's got to cl- be on the show. I close with I want to be like you. Great. And then I do encore with zippity doodah. Zippity doodah. How do you not leave in a good you, mood? That you can't get that song out of your head, regardless of the movie that it was attached to. You forget the context. And you forget you just, the context. Right. Right. A song jump right out your mouth. <laughs> zippity doodah. <laughs> Zip. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a 350 for the big 350 open close encore. Tina Turner, may she rest in peace. It's time to play, read video games and play, uh, wait, read books and play video games. Jesus. Snyder, Snipes. Snipes. I've been busy, so books are on hold. Been playing Breath of the Wild a bit to gear up for Tears of the Kingdom. Jerry, have you been torturing Koroks? Being seen clips of people just demolishing and literally crucifying them. Hilarious. No, I take it easy on the Koroks, but I've seen the videos. Pretty funny. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Michael Miller. Not really playing anything in the moment. I recently got a Switch OLED. Nice. So I finally got around to playing Lego Star, Star Wars A Skywalker Saga. Nice. Not super impressed, honestly. Oh, Ooh, some shots wow. fired. Wow. It looks great, but I, I actually like the gameplay of the original Lego Star Wars game much better. I've also been playing the GameCube a lot. Recently bought a new memory card. Lost my old one when we moved last year. So now I'm trying to unlock all the extras on Super Mario Kart Double Dash. Great one. And also picked up our Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits for the sake of Genesis. I've been playing a lot of Joust and Defender, too. That, nice. that ain't nothing wrong with that. Damien Botriel, Bots. Bots. Still working my way through uh, Breath of the Wild. I got to my first Divine Beast, the Elephant, and I solved the puzzle, only to get squashed like a jobber in a dark match by Walter Blight, by Water Blight Ganon. Oh, got so the I think I'm just going to exp- Yeah. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to explore, do some shrines, and build myself up a bit more. Not a bad move. Uh, that's always that's the ultimate Zelda, Breath of the Wild, or Tears of the Kingdom move. You're getting your ass kicked. Go find a couple of shrines, get your health and stamina up, and then come back. There, That's a great move. Anthony, too cool for school. Flores, still playing a lot of Breath of the Wild. Trying to get through it as fast as I can while still enjoying it. Jerry, can I get another nugget of wisdom? Like I just said, you, you want to load up on as many shrines as you can so then your Link is a big, bad fighting machine. That's that's what you yeah. got to do right there. Make him have a hammer down there, you know? Right. Okay. Exactly. That's... <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'm still playing Tears of the Kingdom. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else is entered nothing in. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing will enter the nothing. Eddie, wow. what about you? Uh, you read anything? You playing anything? Cold and I finished Jedi Survivor. Thumbs up. Yeah, fun game. Big Great game. Big better game. than the better than the first one. I, I think so. Uh, there's some good wow. moments in it. Uh, I, oh, I, nice. I I mean, there's a. I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to say anything. All um, right. But we still have some of the side missions to do. But we start. We finished Jedi Survivor. And now we're we're going back, and we're playing Spider Man Miles Morales. In anticipation ready. for Spider-Man 2. Ooh! Did I tell you Born to Run's theorem about this? No. I believe that was Born to Run. Too cool for school, Anthony. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Too cool for school. His theorem for Spider-Man 2. Yeah. You saw the footage of the new one. I did. I saw. He thinks Peter's going to be a bo- the, the main boss. Or one of the main bosses. You're actually going to fight Peter. And Miles is going to be able to rescue the Venom suit from him. Right, get so rescue Peter him hits. from Venom, and then and then setting up Venom for being the big villain in part three. And then you, oh, so he you save Peter, Peter you save Peter at the end, save Peter, and then now Venom and leaps now, onto psychotic S- Eddie Brock. Spider Man Three is about Venom. I'd be pretty fucking cool. That's a cool trilogy for because I like how they're doing. When he's in the Venom suit, he's short tempered. He's angry. Yeah, he's, he's aggressive. You know, he's yeah. aggressive. Like I love that. So, oh man, I'm, I'm excited here. I'm excited nice, to see nice, what nice, I, nice. I like that theory. Does is he does he does he lose the two cool for school for that or no? We keep him too cool. No. For school. Once you get your nickname on the ramble, you keep That's your it. nickname. That's, That's it. Going out to Sean Williams. That see how an or, a nickname is organically, right? Just comes about. It just That's, happens. It just These happens. things just happen. Like and Eddie, you have you, it, you don't lose it. That's it. There's no bullshitting. No bullshitting. <laughs> Unless we change it again. That's it. That's, That's up the it. discretion of Ramble, Ramble Corporate. Corporate. 
Yeah. <laughs> they hand this shit down. Yeah. Now, our listener top five. It's already top five time, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Disney, wow. Can you believe we're already here? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I mean, Had you not dis- taken that hour-long dump, it would have felt like this just flew by. It was like, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Which you guys weren't privy to because we've edited no, it out. No, you don't know anything about this. You took the microphone in there and everything. We were taught. We tried to do a ramble while I was shitting. We went through the and journey we were together. Like, <laughs> we were like, you know what? It's just not working because there's just too many Vern Lundquists coming out of me. It was just every other word was. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's trying to talk about things, trying to make good points, and it just. Right. Mm, no. mm, so mm. We all that it out. Happening. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a start a, like a third ramble podcast where we just podcast while we're shitting? I think that we need to. Patreon. Patreon. We'll, we'll call it Rumble. Rumble. The Ramble Rumble. That'll be our Patreon. We'll make so much money. <laughs> we'll make so we'll much money. We'll just sync up our shits. Yeah. And then we'll ramble. Who's rumble. not into this? I don't know who would. I don't know who would say, who would be like, no, I can't do. By the way, think Vern Lundquist is packing. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get? How do you get to his level with those looks and not be packing? <laughs> so you think there's just a massive hog? That's the only waiting. excuse. That's the only excuse. Because those looks and that talent, he has to be swinging. Ah. Just a hammer down there. You don't think he was good at it? Mm. At his job? Mm. Mm. You don't think he was good at his job? I mean, not to get the, not to be the, not not to be on the A team like he was. He wasn't the Wonelli guy. Whoa, Nelly. Who was that guy? Who Keith that? something, right? Keith, oh, yeah, Keith Jackson. Whoa, Keith Nelly. Ja- Whoa, Nelly. That, Whoa, that, Nelly. Was, that's Whoa, a, that Nelly. guy's up. He's up yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, he's for up. sure. He's but up. Vern, Vern was swinging dick. <laughs> that's why he, he got where he got. <laughs> you know who I think should be a stall of fame candidate? Who? <laughs> How have we left this guy off? Paul McGuire. How oh, how we how we left Paul we? Wow. They wouldn't even put him in the booth. They sent him down to the field. Him and Tony Saragusa. They wouldn't let yeah, either one of those guys like, in the booth. No, we need you, you guys. You have to be out in the open. You cannot be. Paul McGuire would like my favorite Paul McGuire was just how personally upset he would get during games. <laughs> He was a was he a Browns fan? Is that what his shtick was? He I don't was like, remember. That's a good question. I just had, remember there was some team he would root for, and what he would get upset. Like. Is he still with us? No, I, I think he might be gone. I know the goose is gone. I think we've lost the goose. Yeah, the goose is definitely um, loose. Paul McGuire. Paul let's see. Let's see. Is he gone? Let's fingers crossed he's not. Let's hope he's not. Okay. Well, come on. Be alive. Be alive. Come. He was, be alive. He was, be alive. He's, He's still with us. There we go. He's nice. still with us. 1938. Nice. He is Woo! 84 from Youngstown, Ohio. I, so I think a, I think he's a Browns end. fan. Yeah, he, he was. He played for the. He was Michael a, Miller. Michael Miller would know. Michael Miller would know. Mills, Mills would know. Mills, yeah. Mills would know. Mills. Mills he's a, he was a Charger and a Bill as a player. Oh, maybe and he was a Bills fan. That's what it was. It was a Bills. It might have been Bills. He, he would always get Charger. upset. Yeah, I think he was a Bills fan. There was one game I remember watching when he would get so mad. I'll never forget. I was like, I thought they're supposed to be. I don't even know if it was the Bills, but let's say the team in question, right, had there was like they had like three fumbles in yeah. the game, and after the oh, yeah. third, he would get so mad. I've said it once. I'll say it again. Hold on to the ball. <laughs> screaming. What are you doing down there? And also, he's famous for the absolute disgust in his voice at Drunk Joe Namath. Because he was calling that game with, with, with your guy oh, that's Theisman. Right, that's right. He was calling the game with your guy Theisman. And was, I that forgot, a, was that a Sunday night? NFL, and, it was a Thursday night. Thursday the ESPN night. Thursday night oh, game. that's right. And then, um, and, <laughs> and then Theisman tries to cover for Joe. Right? Yeah. Theisman tries to cover... Um, I think it, or maybe, was it that, I don't remember. Let me look up the Joe Theismann, Susie Colber thing. Uh, I mean, the Joe, <laughs> oh, the the Joe, Joe, the, Joe, Namath. Joe Namath. Was that a Sunday or Thursday night game? One of the two. I thought it was Thursday, but let me see when it happened. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, Paul McGuire was a Bills fan. I remember it because he'd always do Bills pieces, like pieces on the Bills with during their right. big, uh, their their four Super Bowl run. Yes, he would always yes. be doing like special pieces on the Bills. I remember that. I'm trying to find when it was. Jeez, let me. He see was like this. the original uh, Don of the Bills Mafia, I guess you would call <laughs> yeah. him. Oh, that's true. He was the first. Now, hopefully, he's still. Maybe he's elbow dropped through a few tables before Bills games. What do you think? <laughs> you think maybe? Think maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I think. But I think. I, so I'm trying to get confirmation on this when it happened. But uh, okay, here it is. If I'm gonna have to go back to, I'm gonna just calendar the Eddie. We're gonna do this. Okay. We're just gonna go way back. So way it was back. Two thousand and three. All right. It's that long ago. Wow. Two thousand and three. I want to kiss you. Yeah. Oh. And, um, let's see. December twentieth. It was a Sunday. It was Sunday, Sunday night. night. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. What the fuck? Hold what? on. This no. Two thousand and three. Three. Saturday. Oh, so was it, maybe it was one of those Saturday Did games. Did they have late, a Saturday? Oh, late in the season. Late they the would season. do the Saturday. That's yeah. right. After yep, college okay. football season's over, they do right. Saturday games. So there it was. And then so. And that's name Joe Namath's the... drinking day, we all know. That's his... <laughs> now we know. It's... It was their fault for making a game on Saturday. I Look, does Susie Colbert get a. I mean, she should have been like, guys, we cannot do this. Right, or maybe we can't she put was. Him on camera. I we bet she. I camera. bet she probably told the booth guys, "We can't do this." There's like, got to no, be a. There has to go. be a producer at field level behind the camera with them going, going. Uh, we can't. Yeah, we she's can't. Right, we can't do this. This has to be. But anyway, so I remember Namath was like, "He's Joe's just a happy guy, isn't he? He's just a happy guy." <laughs> and then Paul McGuire, oh boy, is he happy! <laughs> just so <laughs> disgusted. Oh boy, oh, is he boy. happy? Oh. This son of a bitch. It's How many times I gotta tell you, uh, beer than water, beer than water. Let me just say that. That's how you drink. That's how you drink. Beer than water. Beer eat, water. Eat a sandwich. Fuck. Eat some bread. Eat some bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so top five Disney villains, Eddie. This was tough. Ooh, that is a tough one. Gary Priest, the Jeeps. Jeeps. He goes Captain Hook, Sheer Khan, Prince John. Sir Hiss, number one, Cruella DeVille. Thanks for all the laughs. Stay well, Jeeps. Joshua Snyder. Snyder, and thank you, Jeeps. Uh, Self-doubt, as shown through the life of Lewis Cornelius Robinson, Meet the Robinsons, really underrated Disney film, by the way. All All right. right. Number four, Gaston. Although many in Cody's crowd may view him as a hero, (laughs) exemplifying the pinnacle of manhood. That's true. Gaston is probably a hero to the alt-right Cody set. That's a very good point. <laughs> He's not wrong. Number three, Ursula. Oh. Smoky voice, sultry rays, torturing anyone she can with a cool smile, plus shaking her goods to the camera to jab parents in the audience. Tremendous. Number two, Walt Disney screenwriters. Boy, their, their love of killing off parents. Yikes. It's very true. <laughs> Number one, Scar from the Lion Kings. Jeremy, uh, Lion King. Jeremy Irons' delivery was all time great and made the character lovably diabolical but completely hated. In my busy schedule, I've been able to add a lot to my routine over the years, but the Ramble and Retro Rocha have been locked in the last couple of years and are a much needed dose of humor and commentary. Grateful for you. Dude, thank you so Thanks, much, Snyder. man. How sweet is that? Thank you, Snyder. Really Snides. appreciate that. Sweet Jeremy, Snides. Yeah, sweet Snides. Sweet Snides? Maybe. Is that is Maybe. that did are that we, just see? Are we it just, just throwing happens. out? We're just throwing out nicknames now. S- well, Sweet Snides is kind of Joshua <laughs> Sweet Snide Snyder. I kind of like it. I I'm just we might right. have to. It's there. All right, the Jeremy Bienvenu top five honorable mention to the hunter that killed Bambi's mom and the Englishman who fucked up Pocahontas's tribe. Number five, the evil queen from Snow White. Number four, Cruella Deville murder, murdering a bunch of puppies. Fuck that, bitch. Ursula. Jafar and number one, another vote for Scar. The Scar. dude killed his brother and is great, a gold standard for Disney villains, in my opinion. Be prepared. 
Michael Miller, top five Disney animated movie villains. Mills, Jafar from Aladdin. He literally made Princess Jasmine a slave. That's some job of the hut level bullshit, making a princess into a slave. Number four, Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. He's such an arrogant fuck. Arrogant, arrogant fuck. Clearly he's a Republican and most likely a conservative <laughs> Christian too. No question. No question. <laughs> Number three, Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Pure evil with an amazing voice. Number two, Scar from The Lion King. Come on, he killed his own brother for fuck's sake. And number one, Cruella de Vil. The psycho's goal was to make a coat out of puppies. Over a hundred of them. So many puppies. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Take care, everybody. Fight, Jerry. Fight. Thank you. Eddie, it for life. Cody loves Magic the Gathering. Bye. Bye. Michael Miller. Thank you. And fight, Michael. Fight as well. We got you, brother. Yeah, man. Damien Botriel. Bot. Bot. Top five Disney animated villains. He goes Gaston, number five. Clayton from Tarzan. Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. And number two, Captain Hook. Number one, Scar. See you next Ooh. week, Damien Botriel. Bot. Anthony. But Scar, really. Yeah. He, he's a, he, I think he might he have might be. odds-wise. I think he got the most votes. Anthony, too cool for school. Flores, top five. At five, I have Hades from Hercules. At four, I have that sleazeball Jafar. At three, I have the baddest witch in the sea, Ursula. At two, I have the treacherous old Scar. And at number one, I have the most intimidating and Disney and devious and just plain evil Disney villain of them all, Maleficent. There we go. Uh, before I go, fellas, I want to share a video of my current favorite pro wrestler, the man zeroing in on passing Honky Tonk and Macho Man for the longest reigning Intercontinental Champ, Gunther. Of course, we would show the video, but I don't know how, and all right, Cody holds those keys. Yeah. So maybe I'll try to show it again next week. Keep rambling, boys. Thank you, Anthony. Too cool for school. Flores. Owen Edmonds. Oh, once. Oh, when, when, months, 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 months. <laughs> I can't remember if you said pre-Pixar for the top five. If you did, then Ramble Corporate can sue me. Wow. Oh. So that means Kip Pixar's included. Rules have been oh. broken. Whoa. Evil Queen from Snow White, number five. Corella DeVille, Jafar. Ka, I was terrified of being hypnotized as a kid. And number one, Sid Phillips from Toy Story. Bad memories, dude. Bad memories. Peace and love, mm. Owen. Fuck cancer. Thank you, Owen. Man, and thank you all for this. What great lists. Number Ramble great 350, list. the big 350. It's all Tina Turner across the board. Except so for get Anthony those Flores. Ike Turner. Except, right, Ike Turner. <laughs> He's doing all Ike Turner. <laughs> ramble at the Ramble Pod. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> oh, this was a tough one, Eddie. My number five, I went Jafar. Who was your number five? I went uh, Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, it's a great... Off with the heads! How many heads did she chop off? Killed a lot of motherfuckers. How many people did she kill? Killed a lot of motherfuckers. That's a great Fuck one. Fuck yeah. I went... Num for my number four, I went with a lot of uses number one. I went Scar at number four. Okay. Who was your number four? I went uh, Jafar. Jafar is a great one. Yeah, yeah. For number three, I went Sleeping Beauty's own nemesis, Maleficent. Okay. And she turns into a dragon. It's yeah. pretty rough. Yeah. So, yeah. Number three for me? Yeah. Captain Hook. Oh, a great one. A Captain great Hook, one. man. Trying to kill children. Children. He's Wants to kill children. children. A lot of them. Yeah. I, my number two, I went the queen from Snow White. The evil queen oh, okay. from Snow White. Nice. Yeah. Who was yours? I went uh, Scar, number two. Scar's a great one. Yeah. My number one, who else could it be for me? But my favorite Disney villain who has, I think, the best villain song Ursula from The Little Mermaid uh, with those poor, unfortunate And you're souls. fresh out of a... I'm fresh out. And I'm going to tell you yeah. something right now. That Melissa McCarthy scene, it, that might be the best Disney song scene ever. She was that good. Who was your number wow. one? Corella DeVille. Corella you want to kill, you wanna kill puppies for a coat? DeVille. That's uh... Corella DeVille. I know. That's and yeah. she's clearly rich enough to get any coat she could get anywhere else without having right. to do that. She wants to kill puppies. But that's her it. goal. Fucking evil. There we go. Well, what a ramble, everybody. Mm. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for... Uh, we almost had us in the toilet. Maybe next time. We'll Maybe. see. Ramble Rumble's Maybe. coming. Ramble, Ramble Rumble's on the way. You know, Eddie and I have, have albums on iTunes. You could buy. You could stream. Buy all that merch. good shit. You know where to find us. You know where to love us. Do it. We love you all. Stay safe out there. We'll see do you it. Friday for Ramble Radio. Take care, everybody.